Hello everybody, Beach Bomb is here. Today I'm showing you guys some of the Far Cry 3 map editor, which I just fooled around with a little bit. As you can tell, these crocodiles are not normally here, and neither is any of this other stuff. I put a lot in here, and yes, you can add in AIs in the map editor. This is gonna be a blast. These guys actually do fight each other. There's rebels and the pirates. They actually start shooting each other. But since I have these animals in here, like the Komodo dragons and the sea turtles, they see the animals as more of a threat than each other, so they start shooting at each other right away. You'll see that soon. I'll go back in the in-game editor. You can actually test it out in-game, like most other map editors and other games. And yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome, considering you can add in, like, sharks and the crocodiles and this bird deal I like to shoot. And bears and tigers and panthers and vehicles. And you can create forests and... Bushes and bamboo and mangrove and raise and lower the terrain. If you guys are new to the Far Cry map, Edler, it's freaking crazy. You can actually just like sculpt terrain how you want. Just do anything. You can smooth it out. Look at how crazy that is. And something else is pretty crazy is the terrain erosion. Now for some reason Fraps doesn't like actually want to record everything on screen. It's only in the little this little box area, the actual in-game in-game slide, if you will. There's actually a toolbar up above and off to the right that I'm controlling everything from. And those aren't too important. But yeah, you can just see all the stuff in game. This erosion tool is pretty freaking awesome. It breaks everything down and slides it downhill like it's eroding. So that's pretty cool. And there is the... You can, taint, you can paint textures, add water layers, which I'm still not very familiar with, but I guess you can do it. Let's try to make it right now. Um, I'll be right back when I make a little sanctuary for my water. And here we are, Mountain Donut Hole. We have water. Let's see, the water level would be... Right here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Looks like it doesn't actually, like, fill in with the terrain. You kinda have to accommodate to the water to cover the rest of it up. But yeah, that definitely is a lot better than not being able to do that at all. Let's go ahead in game and test this sucker out. The left control G. And bam, we're in it. See, yep, full on water, you can swim in it and everything. Now getting out of it is a whole other bridge to cross. You can hear all the chaos going around. Let's go ahead and jump back in here for a second. Pretty cool, not sure if you can delete that. Let's go ahead and try. Doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure you can just reverse it by going into this and setting the water level down to zero. Yep, alright, yep, that's how you reverse it. That is pretty cool. I'm liking that they added that feature in. And, you, of course, you can add objects, paint, paint terrain in. There's a whole grab bag of terrains you can choose from. Like, right here, I have mangrove. Also do high palms, um, a low coastline, and uh, I think that I have high jungle in here as well. Low river, medium trunks. There's just a ton of options, and of course you can paint in some roads. Let's see right here. How do I do this? Um, right here, paint in a road. So the road going right through the battlefield. Oh, what happened? Alright, this is pretty freaking awesome. I'm loving this. Put some time into it, you could really make some amazing pieces of art. Of map art. Let's see what other roads there are. Road North Dirt. A little tattered up road, nice stuff. Let's see what else is there. Let's go with the weather. The weather is pretty freaking awesome can change the time to however you like it. See, it's got a good overview here. Can start at midnight. Go through the morning. I'm trying to do this pretty smooth. Can't really do it. But yeah, you can choose any time between 12 a.m. and 11.59, 59 p.m. Pretty nice. Let's make it dark. With full clouds. A full storm factor. And then you can change the water level as well. As you can see, now it's raining, foggy. There's sharks in the water that want to kill you. And there's men up here wanting to kill each other. Let's go ahead and watch them. Oh gee. Here we are. 
There goes a man away. Here goes our sea turtle. There they are. They're kind of freaking out because there's always hostile animals around them. Otherwise, they'd shoot each other. As you can see, Komodo dragons are quite vicious and... Yeah, they're more of a threat than pirates, I guess. Let's go ahead and heal. They're being attacked by tigers up there. A bear's coming in. He's not standing for this. There goes an explosion. As you can see, the fire system is back. I guess people have tracers. That looks pretty freaking awesome. I just love this game already. Sharks doing what they want over there. He's like shooting Komodo dragons. There's a man right down there. Let's see if that grabs anyone. Oh, this bear's going to town. Look at him go. I guess crocodiles have to be placed in water or something. Or anything. That bear is a bullet sponge. Oh, they almost noticed me. They're chasing that bear down over there. The fire is freaking parts this landscape. There goes a little monkey. Right, now they're shooting at that enemy guy. Yep, it does. Good job. Good job, my rebels. And stuff, let's, ex let's explore. Where did that man or, or more eel go? See, they actually grab you. It's supposed to be in the water, but, you know, I didn't want to put him in the water. It's like another sea turtle. I've got hanging here. That entire area is on fire. The bear's just going down. Enemies over here. Take him down. There's actually a lot more enemy types to choose from than there are friendly, like, these guys, rebel types. There's about eight different kinds of these guys you can choose, and there's a ton of enemies. And these guys actually interact with the world, as you noticed. Like, I didn't have to do anything, like, in, in Skyrim and that, Edler, the creation kit. You actually had to put down nav mesh and stuff, which was a complete pain in order for the AI to actually do anything, go anywhere, get a plot of their exact movements. Is that a turtle? Alright, but yeah, you had to plot out their exact movements and everything. But with this, you don't have to do any of that, you can just plop them down and they actually do stuff. I'm pretty sure you can give them AI paths and stuff, but I don't really want to, right now. But yeah, it's awesome stuff, let's go ahead and get attacked by a shark. That's pretty much all I'm going to show in this video. I'll actually make a map, and... Oh, God, you can dive in the water. That's awesome. But yeah, I'll actually make a video, or make a map, and make a video of it, and I decide from a shark attack. Yep, that's the basic idea of the Far Cry 3 map editor. I'm not sure how it's going to be on the consoles. This is on PC, as I said earlier. And these are all the vehicles available, if you guys are curious. The only air one's a glider. And there's three water ones. But yep, that's really it. I'll make a new map. I'll probably make a minigame type map, like t getting attacked by tigers or something fun like that. And yeah, that's that's it. Go to rate, comment, and subscribe. Give me any of your suggestions. I'm not sure why these fish aren't in the water. Probably because I put them like that. Yep, give me any suggestions for future Far Cry videos, as it does not come out for a while yet. But I still have it. Yep, rate, comment, and subscribe. Please spread this around. I'd love to get more views off of this, and I will see you guys later. See ya. Alright, sorry, one last thing I forgot to add in. You can actually have generated maps appear. You can choose the tropical islands like my previous one, or mainland mountains like this magnificent beauty. So yep, that's it. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later. See ya.